we've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well here, Jared. It's always good. It's always good here when we get to talk a little bit about Team Chaos, some some rank teams losing, not just losing, but losing big <laughs> this past weekend here. So, is it chaos? Is their second week in a row? In a w- chaos rich. Uh, yeah, Team I would Chaos say five, taking, taking teams. Four or five, like true chaos outcomes, um, depending upon if you want to count the Kansas and or Kentucky losses if, as, as as chaos or not. Uh, they were ranked. They lost to an unranked. They, neither of them were very highly ranked. So, uh, so you know, maybe it's maybe it's three or four or five, uh, depending on how you choose to count those two. But yeah. Well, let's talk, Kentucky let's talk about loss the... is never chaos. <laughs> Fair. All right, let's talk about the big one here, Jared. USC losing, not just losing, but just just complete utter dominated by Notre Dame. Uh, what, what was that final score? It was like something to little forty-eight to twenty in that game. Yeah, I mean forty-eight the final, to the twenty. Final... The final score makes it look a lot worse than it was. Uh, Notre Dame got a couple late touchdowns, um, especially. I mean, it does. Wow. I, I, I know. After you, Jerry. <laughs> I would say it makes it look better. OK, well, that's that's just how you choose to see it. Um, USC was outclassed the whole way. I'm not even sure if that's true, to be honest with you. Um. What well, what was Notre Dame? Kyle, can can we get can we get a total yard comparison Notre Dame to USC? They never stood a um, chance, but they never stood a chance because Caleb Williams threw the game away. Twenty four to six in the first half, but again, that's mostly because of Caleb Williams, uh, totally shitting the bed. Twenty, you so say twenty four to six, but. 21 of those points came directly off of Caleb Williams throwing the ball away. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And so, so the, the total yardage is going to be very misleading because Notre Dame wasn't very good uh, field and field possession to, to score those touchdowns then. So you look at the total yardage, USC had 302 yards. Notre Dame had 251 this is my point. It, it, it's a it's dominating on the scoreboard. Yeah, and yeah, and of course, Austin Notre Dame also you know made those plays and capitalized on those plays. I get it, but to say that I'm just saying the game's final score. It, it it wasn't like Notre Dame totally pushed USC around all game. I'm not wrong. I mean, because ultimately, the, the, you know, you can't take the turnovers away. They happened. Yeah. Caleb, Caleb Williams threw those interceptions. Notre Dame applied pressure to him to cause those interceptions. Notre Dame caught the ball. They, they capitalized on the interceptions. They returned the interceptions. They scored after the interceptions. Like Notre Dame did what they had to do to you know, make sure that those backbreaking mistakes actually broke USC's back all credit in the world to Notre Dame, but the final score looks way worse than the reality of the football game. Five turnovers, five turnovers for USC in that game. And so, and so you can, you can say that Notre Dame's defense is what, won them this game here and rightfully, 100%. rightfully so here. Hundred percent. So, this was a this was a defensive and, victory for Notre Dame. Yeah, and so because because of that, because of how well the defensive defense played here, five turnovers, six sacks in here in this game. Uh what was it? Eleven tackle for losses in this game. Yeah, like yeah, it was a complete domination in my mind. Like it 
the total yard on Sanders offense, does, wants does to does let not, you know that he blames the offensive line. Does not. Yeah, total yardage does not determine like how well a team plays here just because the defense is what I know, plays I know, so I know. well. I, I mean, I get it. I'm just saying normally when you see a score like that, it's not the it's not the type of lopsided victory that you normally see with a score like that. That's all I'm saying. All right. All right. We got some more games to talk about, but I'm, I'm still going to call it a complete domination win here by Notre Dame. And likewise here, uh, Arizona. This was, this was my wow. pick for This was my pick here, Jared, for, uh, for a unranked team beating a ranked team. Arizona. Yeah just dominating again i'll use the word dominating yeah washington state 44 to 6 kyle we said i don't remember if we said it on collegiate chaos or salute picks last week i forget which episode we said it on but we were we were talking about arizona as like an actual like sneaky good football team it's it's the quarterback it's the who is the quarterback yeah a hundred percent. They they brought in a true freshman quarterback a couple weeks in or yeah, a couple weeks into the season, and they've transformed into a different team. Um who is Arizona's quarterback? I forget his name. Kyle, can you can you look that up? It is uh Noah uh Fafita. Let's I'll go with Fafita. All right. Well, we still don't know his name apparently. <laughs> Classic Sloopcast. Washington just played he, their yeah. He was in this game, Jared. I'm going to the box real, real quick. 34 for 43 for 342 yards. Fafita. Austin is telling us it's Fafita. Fafita. Okay. Yeah. Uh Arizona all of a sudden sneaky good. Man, the Pac-12 in its final in its final year, uh, producing some great football. Unfortunately, a lot of this is happening on the Pac-12 network where not a goddamn person can see it. <laughs> All right. Um, another team here, Louisville. Louisville, after after some good wins here and then beating Notre Dame the previous week, uh, drops an egg here, losing to Pittsburgh 38-21. to this is another like turnover rich, just f- falling apart type game. Uh, this time Louisville uh, doing that. It was not 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 a good scene for for Louisville. They just they fell apart in this game hard. Uh, and again, all credit in the world to Pittsburgh for capitalizing on those mistakes and everything else, but. It's yeah, this is the total collapse by Louisville. Yeah, Louisville zero points in the second half there. They were up by a touchdown 21 to 14, but then it was all Pittsburgh in that second half there. We'd be really curious on what the what the uh yardage looked like for Louisville in the second half, but I don't have time to do that because we're gonna go on to the the next game here, uh, so we talked about those games. Kansas ranked 23rd at the time, losing to Oklahoma State. Kentucky Big 12 was ranked 20. Do we care about yep. the Big 12? Outside of Texas and Oklahoma, do we give a any sort of shit about what happens in the Big 12 from here on out? Is there a Big 12 What after those two? That's my point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kentucky loses to Missouri. What was the final score in that one? Um, uh, somewhat decisive. <laughs> trying to, trying to find, oh, yeah. 38 Austin, to 21. Yeah. Austin says, who cares, Kyle? All right. Oregon, outside, oh, Oregon. Along the same line, Kyle, along the same line. Outside, of, I said outside of the Big 12 or outside of uh, Oklahoma and Texas, do we care about the Big 12? Outside of Georgia, and I maybe Tennessee, I for now, 
do we care about what happens in in the SEC East? No, you can you can subtract Tennessee and just say Georgia. Yeah, partially Alabama. Tennessee, Alabama. Tennessee's a single so, so, loss team. They're still in it. Whatever. So yeah. Alabama. So Alabama. Alabama struggled again in this last weekend, beating Arkansas twenty four to twenty one. But Alabama finds ways finds ways to win here. Ugly, but they still find ways to win. They they easily could have had three losses for the year already. We care more about Florida somehow than Tennessee. Some of us yet. No, uh, sorry, but no. Uh, Oregon, Oregon and Washington. This was, this was a hyped up game leading up to this last weekend here. And it, God, it lived was so up good. to that. Lived up to the hype. Came down to a, came down right down to the wire here. And, and the, uh, that the mighty Penix came yeah. up victorious. I needed that field goal to go in so bad. That's the exact type of game that needed to have overtime. That that game was so good. It deserved to have overtime. It deserved to go into like seven overtimes. Why didn't that field goal go in, Kyle? I that that game. Oh my god, that game needed overtime. I needed more of that game. It's like it's like, it's like you went. It's like if you went to go see a concert, and then they didn't come back out for the encore. That that's what it feels like. Like what. <laughs> Wait, why why are they turning the state why why are they turning the venue lights on? What's happening right now? No. I, I needed I needed that field goal to go in. Oh, what are what are some other ones? Let's let's go through the list here, the rest of the games here. Uh Florida, Florida State, State one killed Syracuse, one easily. Michigan starts slow. As, but that, I feel I feel like at this point that's just who Michigan is. Yes, it is. Um they, they're just they, they just they wear start down teams. slow and then they wear out teams. Um, yep. I mean, Ohio State Vanderbilt kills put, Purdue. Put, put, Vanderbilt uh, you, put put up twenty to Georgia. I, I did not expect that. Georgia's defense is not Georgia's defense from the past couple of years. They, they're they're just not. Uh, well, I guess to be fair, to be fair to um, Bowers Vanderbilt did get did hurt. Score Do we know 13? how? bad that was i know he left the game it kind of looked like i know he went back to the locker room do we do we know how bad the bowers injury is because that's that's most of their offense right there that's pretty devastating if it's if it's going to be a long-term injury for don't, Bowers. yeah i don't know not sure yeah, it's. Are they calling it an ankle sprain? Well, that's what Kirby's saying. Well, rule one. Yes, and he'll keep saying it's a sprain up until kickoff for the Florida game. He'll he'll just say it's a sprain. Even maybe during, he's under no yeah. obligation to tell us the truth. That's literally what yep. rule one means. Mm -hmm. Um, just Alabama, Alabama. As, yeah. Arkansas is a bad football team. Uh, you're only beating them by three points. Alabama's Alabama. I, you know, I think I mentioned last week that maybe Alabama was starting to put it together. Eh. Utah gets a win. Uh, we already mentioned Oklahoma State. Penn State absolutely destroyed M Massachusetts. Congrats As they should. Penn. As congrats, Penn State. Um. Mentioned Arizona, mentioned Washington, mentioned Pittsburgh over Louisville, Tennessee beat Texas A&M by seven points. Clearly, they're the number 19th. OK, um, LSU straight up destroys Auburn. Great. Good job. Auburn sucks. Um, uh, North Carolina with a pretty decent win over Miami. You know, I understand that Miami is not the best, but this was the first game we got to see North Carolina play a team with a pulse. 
North Carolina had played literally no one to this point. Um, just waiting till we got to Washington, Oregon. We we talked about Washington, Oregon. We didn't spend a ton of time on it. There's not a lot to say. Uh, I think it was you were talking about the injury, the whatever's happening on Sunday Night Football right now. Um, the uh, Oregon State beats UCLA. Um, and then Duke they, beats NC State. And that's that's your that's that's your top twenty five teams from from this last week. Yeah. Um. Again, like huge, huge losses, huge losses this week. Um. Yeah. How far, how far in the AP? I know. I know it's the AP, and the AP does doesn't matter. But I'm curious. How far down did USC fall? They were tenth, eighteenth. Where's Notre Dame at They've, now? I think is it the more relevant question, especially on a Buckeye uh, podcast. They are they are fifteenth now. Okay. Does uh, I mean fifteenth has to put them as the highest two loss team? It does. Yeah. Well, who's the highest one loss team right now? Is it Texas still? Texas, Texas, and then Oregon. Uh, where are they at? Eight and nine. That that all feels pretty fair. All right. Well, since we're on that topic, let's let's pull out our our board here. Uh oh, technical difficulties. There you go. I I, I just cl- I just clicked on the wrong <laughs> I clicked on the wrong scene. That's all that was. All right. Here we go. For those who have not. Um, seen one of these yet here. Jared and I grade uh, most of the teams here and grade them S, A, B, C, and M tiers. Uh, S tier is only four teams, meaning our top four for the college. If it would end right now, these would be your four teams for the college football playoffs. A tier would be teams who have a very legit shot at making the, the playoffs. And B tier, really good teams and could maybe move their way up though, but there are issues but with the team. They'll they'll need some they'll need some assistance from outside. They need some, they, yes. Yeah. All right. So let's let's start with the S tier. So last week we had Ohio State, Florida State, Oklahoma, and Georgia. And it was a totally peaceful discussion and <laughs> we didn't at all yell at each other. No. Very civil. Very civil discussion. Um, Oklahoma, dormant. Florida State, dominant. Ohio State, dominant. Georgia. You know, I don't, I don't I won't quite say dominant, but, you know, good enough. Um, Washington with a huge win. Uh, I'm just going to. Not the the order of a tier doesn't really matter, but I'm going to just move Oregon over here real quick. Uh, I'm just going to move Washington over here real quick. I'll maybe move SC to the right. Uh, I'll move North Carolina here. I'll move Texas here and uh, just sort of ordering these a bit. OK. Um, Kyle, I really want to move Washington up into the S tier. Yes, Washington does deserve to go up to the S tier. Now the question is going to be, who, who the hell moves out? Yeah. Um, and I think I, I know will, where you're going with this. <laughs> I think Georgia is the only win, team best. without a signature win. The closest thing Georgia has to a signature win right now is Kentucky, who just lost again. Uh, and I assume is not in the AP top 25 at this point. Austin says that's the best win in college football this year. Uh, that that belongs to Oklahoma. That belongs to Oklahoma currently. The, but Texas. The, the Ohio State win over Notre Dame suddenly looks a lot better. It does. Um, Florida State. 
Uh, their signature win is against LSU, and that win is, you know, still pretty good. Um, so if we're looking at if we're if we're looking at signature wins, Oklahoma, Washington, Ohio State, I think have the three best wins. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. would say Florida State has the next best win against LSU. LSU. Yep. Georgia beat Vanderbilt 37 to 20. And their best victory is it's no can't. longer is no longer is ranked. against Kentucky. Who, like I said, just lost again to Missouri. So I agree. I think Georgia is the first one in A tier. As of for week seven here, I would agree with that. So I would put. Let's order S tier now. We agree. We agree right. that the four teams in S tier are Ohio State, Florida State, Oklahoma, Washington, in no particular order yet. We agree on this. Mm -hmm. So I would say my fourth, my fourth one is Florida State. I agree. My third one is. I don't, I'll be honest with you, Kyle. I'm going to, I'm going to let you do this because I don't really have a strong opinion. I, I think Florida State's fourth. And I think you can make an easy argument. I think you can make a pretty easy argument as far as the next three and any sort of order. So, so, so if you look at Oklahoma, if you look at Oklahoma, uh, I'd say their worst game. Well, they've had two somewhat bad games here. They beat SMU twenty-eight to eleven, and they beat Cincinnati twenty to six. But they do have arguably the best victory in Texas. 34 to 30. Then if you look at Washington, their closest um, victory other than the this weekend to Oregon was Arizona, who is who's been sneaky good recently. When, though. when, they, beat when, did they, by, when they beat them by seven points. When did they beat Arizona? Um, was it with the new was, quarterback? Yes, it was. OK, that, that that's an important distinction. Mm-hmm. So, so I think, I think I would put Oklahoma third. I agree. I put Oklahoma third, and then I put Ohio State two, and then Washington one. I Kyle, we're we're back to we're back to being civil, we're back to being friendly, <laughs> we're back to being on the same page again. Now, now if Ohio State wins this weekend, they're number one. They are they, number one. They, they are number one here, having two top quality, I guess you, you would put like tier one victories over Notre Dame and Penn State if they would win. I 100% agree. By the if way, Penn Austin State wins, Austin they're put, number three. Uh, Austin, by the way, said just based off of this season, Washington won, Florida State two, Oklahoma three, Ohio State four. I, well, I don't understand why you're so high on Florida State. To be honest with you, Austin. Yeah, Florida. So if you look at Florida State here, they won by three to Boston College. Uh, They barely beat Clemson, who's not all that great this year. Yeah, they they did beat uh, soundly uh, LSU. And they did win soundly again to Syracuse again here this last weekend. But this this next game here may be their last big challenge here, and that's uh, that's home to Duke. Because the rest of their schedule is not all that great. Yeah, they played Florida at the end of the year. Yeah, they play Miami, but on paper, it does not look like it's a great schedule for Florida for Florida State. So they need a they need a win and win uh, looking good. But and I, they need to. I think by Florida, the way, they need to make sure that they get to the part of the season that matters with their quarterback healthy. 
I, this yeah. is this, this past weekend, the second game this season, I've seen him walk back or run back to the locker room with his left arm, just dangling there. Now, luckily he's right-handed, but like at a certain point, you need to keep your quarterback healthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, all right. Washington, Ohio state. He was talking about Florida state, Woody. Yeah. Washington, Ohio state, Oklahoma and Florida state is our top four in that order. All right. So let's look at the A tier. Georgia stays in A tier. Michigan stays in A. Penn state. Yep. yep. UNC, Texas, Alabama. Keep Oregon. Oregon stays in A tier. And yes, I know that uh, Louisville go Louisville goes to B tier. I think Louisville goes down to B tier. They they can still they can still win the ACC. They, Kyle, they need help. I have to ask you this question. They and need help. I I Louisville. Are mm-hmm. are we downgrading them because they're Louisville? They have they won. lost to Pitt. They beat Notre Dame, which we're counting as Ohio State's signature win. I know, but I it's I know I'm just if it were not Louisville, if it were Michigan or Penn State, if if the if the uniform if the uniform was a brand, would we be moving them to be? I hey, just based I, on this based on the I I guess you have to look at the who who else they've played and how well they've played too. So let's look. All right. You ready for this? They beat Georgia Tech by five. They beat Indiana by seven. Georgia 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 Tech who lost to Bowling Green. To Bowling Green. Yeah. They beat Indiana by seven. And Michigan just beat Indiana by forty something. Forty five. Uh, they beat they beat NC State by three, 13 to 10. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, B okay. tier, Jared. B, B, B tier. B, listen, you convinced me. I asked a question. You answered it. Uh, we can move Louisville to B tier. They caught exhausted yeah. Notre Dame in a trap. Spikes, yeah, probably, yeah. You know what? Because of the same logic, I'm going to... You might as well move USC down to B tier as well. Woo! What's, what's, Woo! Woo! What, what now is, we're getting what hot. Is their, what is their Vic, what is their their signature win for the season? San Jose State, Nevada, Stanford, Arizona State, Colorado, hey, listen. Sta- Stanford's Arizona? an offensive Stanford's an offensive powerhouse. And if you don't believe me, ask Deion Sanders. <laughs> Arizona? Arizona is probably their signature win right now. Well, and then they, when they played, and then when they played someone with a pulse, uh, yeah, we, we saw how that went. So I, they they have chances to make it up here. They play Utah uh, this next weekend. They also play Washington, Oregon, and UCLA. Yeah, they they have some opportunity. They definitely have the opportunity. So I would put. For right now, I'd put USC and B tier. Listen, I want to dis I want to disagree with you. I want to disagree with you, but and I have to I have to I I have to the the thing I just accused you of of being persuaded by Louisville's lack of brand, and I and I asked you that question. I now have to ask myself: Am I being persuaded by USC's brand? Um. <laughs> And the answer is yes. We're going to be moving SC down to B tier. All right. You know, you know who we should be moving up to A tier though. Uh, hold and hear on. me up. Should before we do that, before we do that. Yeah, yeah. Should Oregon we be stays. having a serious conversation about Alabama's uh, belonging in A tier as they they belong, barely they belong in beat a- Arkansas again? If, like if we're asking questions about being persuaded by being. Moved by brand names. I, I, 
I think they stay in A tier. I think they stay in A tier because they have some they have some quality wins still. Uh, Ole Miss, uh, Ole Miss only has one loss, is it? Yes. Um, yeah, they only have Ole Miss only has one loss, and they 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 beat them there. And Texas A and M isn't a terrible team. They're not a great team, but they're not a terrible team either. Just lost um, again to Tennessee. They did, yeah. Alabama does play Tennessee this weekend, so I think I think we'll I think we we'll should see a lot about who Alabama really is here. Yeah, they've definitely not up to the par of what we usually see Alabama, but I think keeping Alabama at the very tail end of a tier is is fine with me. Okay, Listen, now we, I, I'm just saying we might be being. I'm trying to think of the correct way of saying this um, blinded by their brand. By keeping them in a tier, we might be doing that, but you make a good point that they beat Ole Miss. And I think based off of their their win over Ole Miss, I think we can keep them in a tier. Mm -hmm. Now, hear me out. Moving teams in B tier. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go through the list here. Ole Miss stays. Miami moves down. But what's, who's tier. Ole Miss's best win? Now Should Ole Miss look. be in A tier? Is my question. Uh, let's see. Ole Miss is 13th in the AP. Who did they beat? LSU. Okay. They beat they beat Arkansas by more points than Alabama. <laughs> well, they also lost to Alabama. But by but the way, they, only, Alabama. their only loss is a team in our A tier. Hmm? Um, that being said, their signature win is a team that's currently in our M tier. Yeah. So Ole Miss stays. Miami, okay. you, Miami, you're done. You're done. Down to C yep. tier with you, Miami. Utah stays. Duke stays. Uh, Kentucky goes bye bye. Uh, Washington State goes bye bye. Oof. It was it was fun, Washington State. Your your mm -hmm. your beaver brethren, your your bastard, the bastard, the fellow, the two bastard children of the pack oh. two. Uh, I'm I'm about to I'm about to get remain. to them. I'm about to get to them here soon. Notre Dame stays in B tier. They Is do Utah have the still two one loss. What's that? Utah one loss. Uh, yes. Okay. So yeah, Utah Dame, remains. Uh. You said Duke stays. Duke stays. Um, yeah, Duke who's stays. Duke's, at, who's Duke's best win? They're one. They're a one-loss team. Yes. Uh, yeah, they beat Clemson, and yeah, actually, that's probably their best win is is Clemson. There, mm. we probably really valued that at one point. We we did, but Duke's defense is for real, though. Duke's defense is for real. They've only they've only let up more than 14 points once. Yeah. All right. Duke to B tier or stays in B tier. Right. Uh I guess you can keep Tennessee Tennessee there. I uh that's Washington uh what do you mean but only one loss, Austin? Yeah, Tennessee isn't all that great either, but they they only yeah, have no, one Duke, loss. Duke, Duke's a B tier team. They they yeah. They they yeah. Does Duke only have one loss? Yes, Duke only has one Correct. loss. The problem is Correct. right now is that their best win is Clemson, who we may have thought was a good win at the time, but yeah. All right, you were talking about their Beaver brethren. Is it time to move them up to A tier? Is it time to move Oregon State? Make the case for me. All right. A, a good yes, win against they, UCLA they, this weekend. They also have a win against Utah. Okay. They got they got two they got two top twenty five victories right now, and they had a three point loss to Washington State, who just lost and now out of the top twenty five here. I'd say for this week, put put Oregon State into A tier. They got two mm -hmm. top currently top twenty five AP teams. 
so yeah, I, I think, I think, I think you keep, you put them in a tier there. Yeah. I, I think, uh, Hey, a, a Clemson, maybe, uh, Uyunglele wasn't the problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And for anyone who doesn't know, because Oregon state exclusively plays on the PAC 12 network, that is where, uh, DJU has found himself. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's, that's it for a and B. Is there anybody that's in C tier that you should move up? And I know I, one team. I know one team. All right, make the I case. know one team make here because I got crap. I got crap out of it. I got crap for it for not mentioning them here. And I do not think. Oh nope, I see them. I see them on that list there. Currently undefeated here, the Falcons mm-hmm. of Air Force. All right. Uh, the Falcons undefeated. of Air Force up in B tier. Listen, I, I think at this point, even if you are, listen, we're it's October fifteenth as we record this. We're halfway through but October. That's the, that, you're that's, undefeated. That's the, highest Air, that's, the, that's the highest Air Force can get, though. Probably, <laughs> like this is this is this is probably the upper limit for them. Um, Anyone else who's undefeated right now anywhere? James James Madison lose a game yet? They, I think they won last weekend. James Madison is undefeated. Should we, should we be moving? By the way, for what it's worth, um, didn't Air, Air Force just beat Wyoming, who was also undefeated? Right? Oh, okay, there we go. Woody's one step ahead of me. Uh, Air Force just beat a great Wyoming team. Um, yeah, and is in line for a New Year's Six bid. Yeah, they they just beat a Wyoming team that was also undefeated. James Madison oh, plays yeah, Marshall next action. week. Uh, Thursday night Maction. Um, neither of those teams are in the MAC. Hate to break it to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marshall right. was right. in the Mac a long time ago. Um, All right. All right. So, some, some other names here. I'm not saying you should move them up or not. Okay. I'm moving James just, Madison. These are just up. some. I'm just, you can, you can try and stop me. I'm moving James Madison up. Tulane. Tulane, Tulane is, Tulane is five and one. Hmm. Uh, they lost their one loss was to Ole Miss. Okay. Not and they don't really it. have a, uh, 37 to 20. So it was a three possession loss. Austin's going to, that game was close. Austin's it it was, yeah. For yeah. Ole right Miss, now. Ole Miss, uh, scored 20 points in that fourth quarter. Yeah. It, it, was, it was a one score game with three minutes left. Yes. Austin says. Yep. I don't know if I would put them into B tier, but that I'd mention them. Uh, another one loss team that is not in the. Um, I, I do have Tulane also, already on the board for what it's worth. I, w- yeah. I will always put Tulane on the board simply because of their logo. What about Missouri? Is Missouri is Missouri worth? Moving up to B tier. Hell no. Okay. They just lost. Like. Why? Or no, they, excuse me. They just they beat, won. They, they beat, beat Kentucky. Kentucky. They beat Kentucky. Uh, the only other one loss team that we have not mentioned in here. Is the team in black and gold out in the big 10 West. Iowa. I was undefeated. No, no, they have, they have one loss. Oh, I thought you said undefeated. No, no. The only other one loss team that we have not talked about is Iowa. All right, let's uh, make the case for Iowa. For <laughs> or against. I, I don't, I don't, when I say make the case, Kyle, I don't mean. They're like, one, go in either one, direction. Their one game where they played a ranked team was to Penn State, where they lost thirty-one to nothing. It's not. A, it's not a great 
that's not a great way to start this conversation if you were pulling for Iowa. Nope. There, there are other there are other big wins here. They beat Sparty 26 to 16. Oh, boy. OK, time out. You started off by saying that their one loss was a game in which they scored zero points and gave up 31. And then you just said your your opening line for positives was that that they mm-hmm. beat Michigan State. Yep, yeah, they beat Michigan State. Then they beat Purdue 20 okay. to 14. OK. And then they just beat Wisconsin this weekend, Jared. Iowa beat Wisconsin this weekend. And I hope you pick the uh, I hope you pick the under in the over under. The over under was 33 and a half. And it was way under. Total points for that game was 21 points. It was 15 to 6 game. Uh, Austin is saying Liberty is undefeated. Should they be beat here? The Liberty Flames, who I I don't have on the board currently. Although this I'm, is such an Iowa thing. Remember, remember we talked a lot last year about Iowa and how they were able to get seven points or eight points and not score a touchdown. Yeah, the Iowa touchdown, the two yep uh, they, two field goals they, and a safety. Uh they they did that against Wisconsin. Two field goals in the and a safety. Quarter. They got oh, yeah. a field goal, safety, and a field goal. They got eight eight points in that fourth quarter. Classic Iowa. Mm-hmm. Uh, Liberty Flames. Wow. Wow. Will, 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 will Iowa? Will Iowa end their regular season with only one loss, Jared? Uh, the the rest of their se- the rest of their season, Minnesota. Northwestern, Rutgers, Illinois, Nebraska. Is Iowa on their way to the Big Ten championship game? It, uh, I mean, what's what are the standings in the Big Ten West right now? I honestly have no idea. Uh, Iowa, then Wisconsin, who Iowa just beat. Right. And then it's a tie with Northwestern, God, Minnesota, Nebraska, and then Purdue and Illinois. Um, is this the worst we've ever seen the Big Ten West? I mean, yeah, yeah, it it it, it sure is. I mean, it's. So, I mean, God, Iowa's going to win the Big Ten West, aren't they? And it's looking like. They're going to win the Big Ten West, go to the Big Ten championship game, get their doors blown off. And then Brian Ferentz is going to get fired because he's nowhere near that 25 points per game that he needs to keep his job. He's only scored more than 25 points once this year. Twice. Nope. He scored twice this year. Yeah, but it's really hard when you've only done it twice and you have a goose egg pulling your average all the way the hell down. And by the way, you're looking at total scores. Does the defensive touchdowns count? Because <laughs> I don't think that they do. <laughs> I don't know, but I think I think those are all the all the teams here. Um, any teams that should I'm move putting, down to M tier? I'm putting Liberty in B tier, by the way. Sure, whatever. Okay, um, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's 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 the correct response. Sure, whatever is the correct response. That any Kyle anybody Colorado? should go to M tier. Colorado was there high expectation yes, from them for there the, was, there, the, the, the amount of hype around them during the season was insane. And then they gave up a 29 to nothing halftime lead to Stanford. Stanford wasn't averaging 29 points a game. And then they put up 
all of those points because it ends up what was it like what in the 40s to uh, was it like 46 to 43 or something at the end of the game it all that hype around them and i the fact that they've fallen apart as hard as they have is what m tier is designed for i'm not going to stop you okay I'm not gonna that's stop like you, you know I, that's i'll take that i will take that <laughs> Yeah, I think um, those are all those are all the teams here. Yeah. Any, anyone else? Guys, are we missing? Does, is there anything wrong here? Are we missing anything? Should someone be an M tier that we're not thinking of? Should we does actually LSU, have? D- does LSU get out of M tier? Why? Because they beat Auburn. They beat Auburn. They beat Missouri. Who's who's ranked? What do you fucking do? You you if you walk out of bed and don't sprain your ankle and you're in the SEC, you get a twentieth spot in the AP. That's true. Why did we move into M tier again? Because they lost twice in September and were considered one of the best teams in the country at the time. Okay. They had all the preseason hy- hype, and but, yet, <laughs> but yet, because it's we, funny. But yet we consider consider Florida State and Ole Miss's victories over LSU good, which is why I, which is why Florida State's in fourth, and not in second or third. Okay, I mean, I literally said four teams have the signature win but Florida States is the least signature of those four, which is how Florida State ended up in fourth. All right, any any other games? Anything else, Jared? I think I think that's it that I'm looking at. I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't I don't see anything else that needs to happen. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there's a team not currently an M tier that should probably be an M tier, and I just can't find them. Um, but I guess we'll just have to leave that for another day. I I, I swear to you, there's an M tier hiding in here somewhere. But like I said, I'm not going to stare at the board for the next 10 minutes trying to figure it out. So uh, I guess with that, I want to encourage everyone to uh, maybe check out our T-shirt stores. We have a uh, T-shirt stores, um, which uh, you can find some stuff that is sort of podcast merch and sort of um, not Ohio State stuff because, you know, lawyers. But, you know, uh, Ohio State adjacent stuff uh, over at our T-shirt store at merch.thesloopcast.com. Um, and if you want some stuff that's like just sort of Ohio based, but it doesn't look like podcast merch and doesn't, you know, isn't Ohio State even adjacent, but just sort of looks like stuff that celebrates Ohio, uh, you can check out our 7071 store, uh, 7071, uh, and that is at 7071, all new, all numerals, 7071 uh dot the sloopcast.com and of course join the discord server discord.thesloopcast.com where we watch all of these not all of these games but we typically pick a time slot and watch it together uh in the uh in our social screen room so come join the discord server check out the merch doors Kyle do you have anything in Kyle's corner no nah, we're way over on time here so we're just gonna go ahead and end it that is fair. Um, so tonight's any music uh, band from the Cleveland area. I think it's from the Cleveland area called. Um, see you, Woody. Uh, they're called Signals Midwest. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music and, of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Signals Midwest. <laughs>